What's up guys, this is Upper Tofu, and in this video, it'll be a duel between me and Tonrep best 2 out of 3 of Cubix vs Plunder, and for those of you guys who don't know Tonrep, he is also a YouTuber and he is very funny, so I recommend you guys to check him out. Um, just type in Tonrep, and yeah, you'll find him. I'll put it in the description below as well. But yeah, let's get right into it. I have no idea what Plunders do, and also in the future, um, if we battle again, I'll make sure to put in like our actual dialogue like what we were actually saying at the time um instead of like a voiceover i, I just wasn't recording i'll be i'll be sure to include that in the next one um when we do make another one but yeah let's get right into it so i do i'm playing cubix and i'm afraid of his back row so i just play twister straight up and then i have a doza in hand so with cubix i like to have a lot of cubic cards in hand just so i can know that i can summon the crimson which is our main boss monster um, but we're gonna be sending I believe a okay yeah karma to grab our crimson now with crimson you ha you can reveal three cubic monsters or cubic cards that are different and special summon him and he's basically unaffected by monster effects that are less than 3,000 attack so that's why he chose to banish Dooza because I'd be unaffected which was a good move and I can't really commentate on plunder because I actually don't know what they do I was reading and I was I got confused while I was dueling so yeah I attack I set unification and unification is not really that good unless it's in the graveyard um, but I'm hoping he like destroys it somehow so I can put it in the graveyard okay so he tributes out for kaiju he reborns his blackbeard um, and blackbeard has this effect where like he can equip himself to a monster from the extra deck and that card adds a plunder to hand but he had to discard called by which kind of sucks um but yeah and let's see what he's got okay so he banishes the kaiju with his xyz monster and i think blackbeard can actually special himself back from the equipped zone uh, i don't fully know but he goes for battle and my hand looks atrocious like i have a cute i have two uh dead cards in my hand well the drum's not super dead but yeah that's the only thing i could do right here i have this i have the ascension set that's like my saving grace i know he's gonna i'm pretty sure he's gonna banish my um bijam with his monster but now he drew into adventure engine as well so that means if he can add a card to his hand he can get a negate Okay, oh, there we go, okay, yeah, a after he summons, he adds that, and he adds Griffin, and he discards the, um, Draco back, which adds it back onto the field, and he can chain Griffin, so now he has a negate on the board, and I think he has, like, a monster banish as well. I'm not sure if he has to discard, like, a plunder card to activate it, but, yeah, I'm screwed. My only card that I can use is Ascension. Um, but yeah, he has the griffin, so that was that. And that was a good game by Tonrep. Uh, he outed my Cubic Crimson lore. Let's go right into the next game. Alright, so this is a rematch. It is best 2 out of 3. Um, so he sets 2 and passes. Looks like he didn't draw very well, but as we can see, we have, he has 2 ashes. So I play the Foolish Bureau Goods, he ashes me. I have no play after that, so all I can do is set Ascension, um, and I believe that Trap card, I actually don't know what that Trap card does. But next turn, let's see what he's got. He has a second Ash too, which is crazy. He can just Ash me again. Whitebeard goes into Blackbeard, I'm guessing. And oh no, he's going into Emancipator Risen because he sees my face down. Okay. And he has to discard the Ash, which kind of sucks. Um, and that might have been a card that he needed. I think if he had that card, he could have stopped me a lot better. But he negates the first one, but the thing with Ascension is that if your life points are at least 2,000 lower than your opponent's, and you control no monsters, you can special summon three Vajams anywhere except for the Banish Pile. So like deck, hand, or grave. He does max C, so he gets that draw two. But, in return, I get three of the jumps on the field. But the first one special summons, and then the next two are counted as one special summon. And he activates the plunder card. 
special summoned a plunder monster. Okay, I'm guessing this one's Blackbeard. And Blackbeard can either add the or equip itself to the monster one or the spell one. I think this one's the spell one. Okay. And he special summons himself because the next turn he can bring out the monster one, I believe. So I do have the twister. Oh yeah, I went into Underworld Goddess, so he can't do the monster one. Straight up, I just straight up went into Underworld. So that is a total of five, and that negates all monsters' effects on the field. It's basically like a, a, a skill drain, right, when it's summoned, and then after that it's they're negated, but um it's only when she's summoned. So yeah, it's not like a permanent skill drain. Alright. And got us in the underworld. Now we have foolish burial goods. And if he had Ash, he could have definitely stopped me. Um, and we're gonna add Crimson, I believe. And Crimson summons in on the field. And we have Wave and Karma and Twin Twister. But I decided to get rid of Unification just in case Crimson leaves the field. I have at least I can special like a Dooza or something. I Twister that. I Wave him. And I think all the Vajams are in the grave, so that's why I couldn't activate Karma. Because they have to be from the deck, so... Yeah. Alright, so we attack, 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 and then the burn 3000 to both of us. So he's at 500 right now. And I'm at... I'm at 2000, so if he can somehow do 2000 damage to me, um, then he can, he can win, but I would be really surprised. So he plays... Okay, he's going off. He adds Draco back, then he adds, okay, Water Enchantress, he puts Draco back there, Draco back comes back, and puts a card to my hand, um, so, I wonder which one he would choose, okay, so he sent Crimson Nova back to my hand, I guess that card is harder to out. We have Dooza, and we send another Unification just for safety, because I'm really trying to live this one turn. He goes into Blackbeard. Blackbeard activates, equipping itself to a Plunder Xyz or Synchro monster. Okay, he banished Underworld Goddess. Okay, I don't know what's going on here. Special Summon. Oh, shoot. He's going into... Is that a... What is that? Oh, Plunder Patrol, okay. He attacks, but I am can't be destroyed by battle or card effects after I'm special summoned by unification for that turn. So now I have Droplet, okay, that's something. I have Wave, so basically I just put two cubic counters on him so he doesn't mess with me. I Droplet so I can discard my, um, my Karma, yeah, and then Karma activates, I can add a uh, King and King when he's summoned he does 800 damage and then unification chains so I can summon Dooza again but he imperms me so he saved himself right there so he imperms me right there and he saved himself from the 800 damage so I have Dooza I don't have many plays left okay Dooza sends Okay, he changed the attribute. And then what? Oh, okay, Blackbeard comes back, okay. And then, I think, can Blackbeard activate again? Okay, so I have Unification Engrave. I go into Underclock Taker. Now, what Underclock Taker does is you can target one monster your opponent controls. And one monster this card points to one of your, my monsters, and it lowers the attack of the opponent's monster by whatever monster that Underclock Taker is pointing to. So I activate Dooza, and he activates that to banish the Underclock Taker, so I can't attack into his Blackbeard for a game. So I send um, Dharma, and Dharma adds the King back to my hand, and King special summons off of tributing one cubic, and that's 800 damage right there. So that, I was literally down to my last resource and he would have like wiped me if I guess I didn't do that 800 damage. 
Alright, this is the game that decides it all for this cubic match, at least. We did play um, other decks as well for best 2 out of 3, so stay tuned for that as well. Um, but yeah, this is the third and final match. So he plays his field spell, he adds Whitebeard to his hand, and now he adds Water Enchantress. And he has to send one to the grave. He has a grave effect though, so he can special summon, I believe, Thunder Monster from deck, and he has Draco back. Water Enchantress activates, adds right, and he has the face down. Oh, okay, he set a called by. Okay, so I have a. If he stops reasoning, I don't really have a play. Okay, so luckily, I have it. Dooza. And I would send a Karma for sure. I believe. Yeah, and then Karma adds Crimson. You guys know the deal. And Crimson reveals. I, I usually like to reveal what I... I reveal the cards that I don't want my opponent to see. I, don't know, I know that sounds obvious, but people just reveal like random cards. But I try to be like precise with <laughs> how I play. I try to play like most optimally as possible. So I send a um, unification. I tribute out for Gata Guile, the Cubic King, and that triggers unification, summoning another Dooza while doing 800 damage. So I do the 800, I'm able to send another card to Grave, I think I send another unification, but he does do called by on my Dooza that's already in the Grave. So I have 4 monsters to work with, and I'm thinking, is there a way that I can wipe him out this turn? It doesn't look like he has much besides that fusion card, so we go these two into Pentastag. So Pentastag, whatever monster this card points to, um, you can attack, like you could do piercing damage. So wave doubles my attack. I do 4000, but he protects it with Fateful Adventure. I go into Unicorn, and I discard the Unification, I believe. That would be the smart move. Yeah, okay. I shuffle back the fusion. I wasn't reading anything, so I don't know if that did anything. Okay, he summons that, and I shuffle that back. I don't know if that changed anything, but I do 3,000. So he is left with 200 life points. I couldn't do the last 200 life points of damage, but he tributes for Kaiju. But Unification activates, summoning my Beast King. So when Beast King is actually sent to the graveyard, um, he can special summon three cubic uh, monsters from the graveyard, and then he can add one cubic card, I believe from like deck or graveyard to hand. So he's really good. But he does have a negate, and he has Draco back, so he's probably going to send the Kaiju. Yep, Kaiju, he activates that, discards the Kaiju, adds golden hair, golden hair normal, Goes into, I'm guessing, Blackbeard, because that makes the most sense. Oh, no, Bahamut. And Toad. Okay, so he goes for the Bahamut play with the Totally Awesome. And I can't be destroyed by battle because of Unification, so I have one turn to live. He has Zeus. Okay. He activates Zeus. Now this was a little bit confusing. I don't know if he knew what the cubic um, behemoth does. Because he did have like the toad negate there. But I guess I'm not sure exactly. I'll have to ask him about that. But yeah, he Zeused me. And I, and I was hoping he'd Zeus me too, to be honest. <laughs> Uh -huh. But okay, he goes into... Okay, so he's replenishing his board. So he meant to wipe my board and just replenish it back again. Okay, that makes sense. Makes a little more sense now. Goes into, I believe, the spell one? Okay. Terraforming. Wow. Top deck. Plunder Patrol Shipyard. Gains 500 attack. So now he's stronger than... Oh wait, no he's not. It doesn't increase to so... Okay, okay. Okay, so we draw Extravagance off the top. And we let's see what we draw. We draw two. Okay, we draw reasoning off the top as well as droplet. Level one was selected. He saw my grave. All the doozles were gone, so it had to be level one. However, 
my monsters that can be special summoned off reasoning are super low. I literally only have six cards that can be special summoned off reasoning, which is Dooza and Vijam. That's literally it. So I get a really good mill. Almost, my my deck is almost like gone basically. So Dharma, Vijam. Okay. I use Karma and I add my Crimson Nova. I don't have enough cards, but I have a Dharma in the grave. So Dharma adds a Vijam or, oh yeah, yeah, Behemoth. And I reveal, um, oh, I was styling on him actually. I put the um, cubic counters on him. Oh yeah, and I droplet. But why did I send that card again? Oh, I wanted to end with cubic Behemoth. That was pretty risky, because if he did have Effect Veiler, he probably might have killed me. I wave him, and I have a trap in the grave where if I destroy a cubic, a monster with a cubic counter on it, I do damage equal to their attack, so that's where the burn comes from. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and we'll be doing more, um, so feel free to subscribe, and the Discord link will be in the description below, as well as the comments, and join up, and let's play some Yu-Gi-Oh! Bye bye